Were Iranians close to overthrowing the Ayatollahs before Trump ruined it? Check this out. Leave your comments, share it with your friends, ding the bell, and please subscribe to our channel. Hey, in Seattle, how are you? What's up? Hey, Mr. Tom, I was actually in my car listening to you your radio show actually you have a great show and also i want to share my opinion thank you in your show are you iranian uh, what, yeah i am actually okay. iranian american living in washington okay i would uh, love to hear your opinion i was going to say uh what donald trump did was basically opening a champagne bot bottle for ayatollah he gives them back the power People in Iran were so close to change the regime, kick Ayatollahs out. Out of nowhere, Donald Trump came and did make a hero from a bad guy. Now everybody's looking at that guy as a hero. Yeah. He, he trashed all the fighting that people in Iran did. There was over 1,000 people die in protest against the Ayatollah. It was so close. It was the matter of months to kick Ayatollah out of Iran. What Donald Trump did, basically, you know, trashing all that and, you know, just gifting Ayatollah's back power, basically, yeah. and make Russia probably happy because the only two people right now, I guarantee you, behind the scene and behind the media, Ayatollah is, like, super happy right now. Sure. They got the power back because the whole point for them was to be stay in Iran and continue governing in Iran. Well, it's just like, so you know, George W. Trump Bush before 9-11 had a popularity rating that was below 50 percent. People thought he, he was, you know, uh, an incompetent guy and, and uh, that he wasn't actually elected, that the Supreme Court gave him the White House. And after 9-11, his popularity shot up to 90 percent. And the same thing has exactly. to be happening to the Ayatollah. It Exactly. So, like, right now, my opinion, I'm not a big politics guy, but right now, Russia's happy because he got the power of the Iran less in Iraq. Ayatollah is super happy because they were about, it was, I'm telling you, from the street of the Iran, not mm. based on the media, media. People were so close to kick Ayatollah out. They were trashing their photo. They were trashing the ideology of Ayatollah. Even in Iraq, on East Syria, same thing. They were burning Ayatollah's picture, throwing them to the trash. Hmm. It was so cold. You know, I, I feel like Donald Trump is a great president for just a moment, like an angry people who wants to see some results just for the moment. For the long term, he doesn't benefit nothing, not America. None of his policy is going to benefit us in the long term. Well, he's certainly he's benefiting Russia, China, and Iran. Absolutely. I'm telling you, in, in, just like his son in the light, he gives Ayatollah's back power. He makes Russia's happy because everybody's won except U.S. and the poor people of Iran that were getting so close to get their freedom back. You know, yeah. Russia is so happy right now because, they, of course, they don't want power of Iran. You know, they're... I, I can't I can't believe what Donald Trump did. From the bad guy, now he become a hero. And I told us super happy. You're talking about Soleimani has become a hero now. From being exactly. from yeah, being seen as a bad guy. And, and one yeah. more last thing, Tom. Yeah. There the Iran population is over eighty million people. You know, yeah. it's still seventy million more people are against the Ayatollah.